Nearly 10 months later, still no arrests in an Omaha homicide. It happened late one summer night. Tonight, for the first time, you'll see some of the panic after the gunfire. And also tonight, a reminder you could get a big reward for information. It's only in KETV Crime Stoppers. Yeah, so what you're looking at right here in this upper right part of the screen are going to be some taillights. Omaha Police Detective Patrick Dempsey is walking us through the short video showing some of the aftermath of a deadly shooting. What you're going to see is some movement here, and then suddenly you're going to see a bunch of parties running eastbound on both the north and south side of this building. It's not much, but Dempsey hopes it's enough. He's trying to find the person who killed 31-year-old Pierre Hightower. He was shot just before midnight, June 3rd, outside the Southside Terrace Apartments near 30th and T. Dempsey says there was a crowd gathered there just hanging out when a fight broke out. It's still unclear exactly what started the fight. There were approximately 40 to 50 people, many of whom we have still yet to talk to, or who will come forward to uh, speak with police. That's because everyone there knows everyone else. A lot of people down there were friends, family, and that may be why it's held so tight to the chest is um, a lot of these people involved were friendly with each other. Now Dempsey says they've talked with a lot of people, but not all of the people, like these people running away. But he's hoping that since pretty much everybody has a camera phone these days, someone has better video of that night, and maybe not even of the shooting or the fight. They may have pictures that they took with friends. They have may have videos of, you know, them and their cohorts hanging out um, that may identify some of the people that were there. We have a lot of witnesses. We have a lot of people who have knowledge of this homicide, and we ask that they come forward and be truthful about what happened that day. So if you were there that night, or if you know who pulled the trigger, you could get a $25,000 reward. Use one of these ways to get that information to Crime Stoppers. And remember, nobody has to know you called because you never have to use your name.